Hi guys, today we're going to be modeling up this hand that you're looking at right now. And then in the next video, we're going to be rigging the hand. And then we're going to be animating the hand. So a few parts to this tutorial. Uh, we're going to start off with modeling. So let's model us up a hand. So we're going to be box modeling this. So we need a box. So let's create a cube. And we can hold down Alt before we select our subdivision surface. That'll automatically add uh, the cube as a child to it. And let's make this cube editable. So hit C on your keyboard. And now we want to see our lines. So hit NB on your keyboard. OK. So we want to make some cuts. So make sure that edges mode is selected. Hit KL to use your uh, loop cut tool and now we're able to make cuts we can make a cut along the bottom here and if you're not happy with the position of it you can move it using this slider so I'm going to go for around here so that's let's say 75% on that you can just double click and type that in and we need one at the top as well well close to the top so let's uh, go for around here I'm gonna go for about let's say 35% on that so let's see what we got okay so we got it looks like it could be a wrist or an arm uh, we, we're gonna have to th th make it a bit thinner so make sure that model mode is selected and grab your scale tool and let's scale that down along the X to about there. Now I'm gonna say to about there as usual you're gonna eyeball this maybe you want a fatter wrist or a thinner wrist so it's up to you how you want your um, your wrist to look. Now when I say wrist this is actually gonna be the palm of our hand this is gonna be the back of our hand so let's actually jump into polygon mode. So our thumb can come out of here. It can come out of here if we want. Let's just say we want it to come out of here. So select this polygon and then we need to extrude. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can hit D on your keyboard and then you can select the polygon that you want to extrude and then you can just click and drag. That'll extrude. A uh, quick way of doing it is, now I'm just going to stay in polygon mode, and with my move tool selected, I'm able to select the, hover over the axis I want to extrude along, and then just hold control. And then we can extrude out. I'm letting go of control, pressing it down again, letting go, pressing it down again. So that's a really quick way of extruding out. So let's extrude our thumb. Hold down control, let's drag that out. I'm not going to tell you how far you need to drag it out. You just need to eyeball it and drag it out as far as you think a thumb would go. Now when I say a thumb, I mean half of a thumb. Because we need to do another extrude for the top half of the thumb. Before we do that, I'm going to scale this down a little bit. Again, I'm saying a little bit, no exact values. I'm going to rotate this slightly up so I can give you a value there, 22.1%, maybe even 26.4 uh, degrees, not percent, sorry. And let's go into our move tool and extrude that again. Now if we lift this, well let's rotate it first ever so slightly and we can move this up along the Y. Move it out a little bit more and scale it down. So this is that's our thumb. Now it might not look like a thumb to you but it looks like a thumb to me. So I'm gonna go with it. It's a thumb. It's a thumb. Here we go. Okay, so next we're going to create our fingers. So our fingers are going to be coming out here at the top, of course. So we need to do some cuts again. KL on your keyboard. 
we're going to do a cut here and here. But we want them to be spread out evenly, so how do we do that? You can click anywhere, literally anywhere within this rectangle. So if I click here, and then we can click this plus button, and that'll give us two cuts. It'll add another cut and it'll space them out evenly inside of the boundaries of this rectangle. So that's pretty cool. We can add uh, another one and another one and another one and it'll space out all of our cuts. So that's a really handy way of doing it. I'm just going to undo that and I'm going to make sure that we just have two cuts. Okay, so now we have our thumb, we got our cuts. Let's go into polygon mode, select our cube, and we are going to, with our live selection tool, we can select this polygon. And now we want to do an inner extrude, because we don't want to extrude all of these, because if we do, you're just going to get like a mitten, and we do not want a mitten. We want fingers, so let's uh, just select our first polygon here. Now you can see that this is going to be our uh, this is going to be the index finger. This is going to be the middle finger. This is going to be the pinky. But right now the index is way bigger than the index and the pinky, so we need to scale that down so that it isn't noticeably bigger than the pinky and the index. So that looks kind of even. So now let's uh, click on this first polygon here. Hit I in your keyboard, that'll open up your extrude inner tool and then just click on the polygon you want to uh, create the extrude on, the inner extrude. And let's set the offset here to 0 0.3 and hit enter. Let's do the same for the middle finger. Click on it 0 0.3 and hit enter and we're going to do the same here. Now look you can see that that is really small so let's undo this. We don't want the middle finger to be that small. So let's grab this polygon and make it a bit wider. Now let's try that again. I on your keyboard, select the polygon first, I on your keyboard, 0 0.3 here in the offset, hit enter. Let's try it here again. Hopefully it doesn't look that small, so that's acceptable. We can widen that up later. And let's do it here on the pinky. Okay, so now we got three finger bases, so we can extrude all of these. Let's go for our live selection tool, select here and hold down shift and select those three. So let's do something about this middle finger right now. Just select it and we can widen that up a bit. Let's make this pinky a bit smaller and we'll leave it at that. So we can extrude our middle finger first because it's going to be the tallest. So let's extrude this. So with your move tool selected inside of polygon mode hold down control on the Z axis there and just drag that up let go of control and let go of your click and let's just drag that up again now apologies in, in advance for this uh, FU finger I'm not directing it towards any of you at all. This is just the way it's looking at the moment. I'll turn it to the side so as not to offend anybody. Let's do the same with our index finger. Select the polygon there, hold down control, and let's bring that up. <clears throat> so we want the middle part of the finger to be slightly lower in height than the middle finger. Hold down control, let's extrude that, and we want the tip to be slightly lower in height than the middle finger tip also. Let's grab our pinky, hold down control, extrude that up. We want the middle part of this to be slightly lower than our index middle part. So just ever so slightly and then hold down control and let's bring that up as well. So our pinky is just going to be just slightly lower than our index tip. 
Okay, so we have what's looking like a hand. Uh, we could, let's see what we could do. We could, so it's a bit wide, so we could just hit Control A to select all of our polygons, uh, making sure your polygon mode is selected. And then we can go into our scale tool and we can just scale that down ever so slightly. Um, and that's looking a bit better. We need an arm. So let's select our cube, deselect our current selection. Let's grab all of these polygons down here at the bottom. Move tool, hold down control, and let's just extrude that down along the Y. And let's do it again. Okay. We need to grab our loop selection tool. So UL on your keyboard. And let's grab this loop here. Scale it down. Now I'm just scaling this down by clicking anywhere in the screen other than on the... Well, you could, you could also click on the... Uh, polygons here but it's just safer to do it anywhere on the screen scale that down the wrist gets thinner as it goes down let's grab this one UL again grab that loop we'll scale that down a little bit and we'll go UL again and we'll grab this loop and we will grab with our live selection we'll grab these polygons here holding down shift and we'll just scale those down ever so slightly might move them down a little bit as well. Okay. So that's looking pretty good. Our arm thickness, well, our arm thinness is a bit too thin. I'm just going to turn off this grid because it's in the way. So let's thicken up our arm a little bit. UL on your keyboard for loop selection. Let's grab this here and this and we'll go 9 on our keyboard for live selection hold down shift and just grab these little stragglers here now we can scale this up here along the X axis to thicken that up a bit that's not working mm, oh yeah because somehow enable axis got turned on so if that happened for you as well just turn that off and now we can thicken that up there that's looking much better. So it's still looking kind of blocky, like as a whole. Our hand is looking a bit kind of blocky. So to fix that, select your cube, go into point mode, hit control A to grab all of your points, and then hit MG on your keyboard. It's going to open up your iron tool. And then what we can do is just click anywhere and just kind of drag that. So you can see that there's a percentage that's changing here as I'm dragging up or down. So here we have like a weird kind of a, this is at 100%, kind of a alien hand. I'm going to undo that. I just want to bring it to about maybe 25%. So that's not looking too bad. Let's look at our fingers, actually just our fingers. Let's go into our right view and if we select our rectangle selection tool we can then just grab our fingers, hop back into perspective, MG again on your keyboard and let's just see if we can kind of smoothen those out a bit, iron those out a bit. I'm gonna scale these also I'm going to scale these down a little bit here along the X. Yeah, that's looking better. They're looking more round now. And also, I want to... Maybe a little bit more. Also, I want to move these up. Because right now, they're in the dead center of the hand. So, we don't really... There's no clear kind of palm. And there's no clear back of hand. So, if we go to our move tool, we can... Move these up or down. So if we move these to about here. Now you can see we have more of a kind of a palm area. And if you look at your hand, the back of your hand is actually a lot flatter. 
So we got a backhand area. The thumb should go forward a little bit, I think. Uh, so if we grab the thumb, point mode is selected, hit UL on your keyboard, we can hold down, well, select the loop first, and then we can hold down Shift to select. We don't need to select any other loops. One loop is enough. No, we need two loops. We need this one also. So with those two loops selected, now you could do this in polygon, er, in point mode or in uh, polygon mode, doesn't matter. Let's move these forward. So I'm looking at my hand, so the thumb should go forward a little bit. Maybe let's deselect this loop, UL on your keyboard to go into loop selection, hold down control to deselect, and click. Now I can move this forward here. So let's see what we got. Okay, so that's looking more handy, I suppose. More handy. Um, and that is it for our hand modeling. So what we're going to be doing next is rigging this bad boy up and we're going to be animating the fingers.